Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing the VAT registration process in UAE. In this video, we'll be covering the eligibility for VAT registration, best time to register for VAT, and the step by step process involved in registering your business for VAT. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our videos based on VAT and accounting. Let's get started. The eligibility for businesses to register for VAT in UAE is based on their taxable supplies. According to this, VAT registration in UAE can be classified into two, mandatory registration and voluntary registration. UAE resident businesses that make taxable supplies in the UAE must register for VAT if the value of their taxable supplies exceeded 375,000 Emirati dirhams in the last 12 months or is expected to exceed in the next 30 days. This is called mandatory registration. UAE resident businesses that make taxable supplies in the UAE may register for VAT if the value of their taxable supplies or taxable expenses exceeded 187,500 Emirati dirhams in the last 12 months or is expected to exceed in the next 30 days. This is called voluntary registration. The businesses whose value of supplies is below the voluntary registration threshold that is below 187,500 Emirati dirhams are not allowed to register under UAE VAT. Sales of every business first cross the voluntary threshold and then cross the mandatory threshold limit. So the best time to register for VAT and to complete the UAE VAT registration process is right after crossing the voluntary threshold limit of 187,500 Emirati dirhams. This way, you will be able to claim all your input taxes on your expenses and avoids any penalties. If you wait to reach the mandatory threshold to register, and then if it gets too late, this may lead to attract penalties. The very first step to register for VAT is to create an e-service account in the FTA portal. For this, you need to visit the FTA website. Click on e-services and click register here. Here, you have to enter a working email address. For demo purpose, we're entering our email address here. Type the name. Select the mobile country code from the drop-down list and enter the mobile number. Similarly, enter the landline number if any, otherwise leave empty. Then enter the password. The password should include one number, one letter, and one special character. Confirm the password by typing the same password again. Enter the security code. Select any security question from the drop-down list. And type the answer, and a hint. This is to recover your password, in case you forget it. We'll select the purpose of registration, as business registering for tax. And agree to the terms and conditions of the FTA, by clicking the checkbox. After that, we'll click on sign up button. You will receive an email in your registered email address, asking you to verify your email. Check that email address and verify your email address by clicking, click here to verify your email. You have to verify your email address within 24 hours of requesting to create the e-services account. Otherwise, the verification link will expire and you will have to sign up again. Once you've verified your email address, you have to log in into FTA portal by using your email address and password. Then click login. Now let's add new taxable person by click here. Type the company name in English and Arabic. Arabic name you can get it from your trade license. Just copy and paste here. Then click on create taxable person. Click access the taxable person's account. Then click OK. Click VAT 101 to register for VAT. Here you can see the getting started guide. We strongly recommend 
that you read each of the sections carefully. Once you have done so, click on, click here to confirm, and click on, proceed button. Here you can see, there are 8 sections that must be completed, on the VAT registration form. We are in the first section. This section is about the applicant. First, we have to select an option from the drop-down list, on what basis are you applying for registration. You can choose any one of them, as per the type of your business. In our case, the company is formed as LLC, so we'll select, this. Next question is, whether you hold a valid trade license? Select yes, as we hold a valid license. Are you also applying to create or join a tax group? Since we don't have a plan to apply for now, select no. Here we have to select an answer, if you are registering mandatorily, or voluntarily. We have discussed in the beginning, about the types of registrations in detail. Select mandatorily, if your turnover have crossed 375,000 Emirati dirhams. Or, if your turnover is below 375,000 Emirati dirhams, and above 187,500 Emirati dirhams, then select voluntarily. For this demo, we'll select voluntarily. Click on save and continue or, click on save as draft, to save your work. You will be logged out of the system, after 10 minutes of inactivity. So we recommend you to save each sections as you complete it. Now we are in the second section. Here we have to provide the detail of the business. Before you start this section, it's better to have all business related details, in a word format, like this. You have to enter the name of the company, in English and Arabic, exactly as mentioned in the trade license. If you have a trade name different than above, then enter the name here. If not, click on No. Next is to select the name of the authority, that issue the license. Select one from the drop-down list, as mentioned in your license. For this demo, we'll select Abu Dhabi Department of Economic Development. Type your trade license number, and select the expiry date. Here you have to upload, the trade license copy. After this, you have to save the trade license, by click on save trade license. Now here, you have the option to enter the owner details. For this, click on add owner details. Select business owner, a natural person. Type the name, in English and Arabic. Then enter the Emirates ID number, expiry date, and upload scanned copy of Emirates ID. Similarly, you have to enter the passport details, and upload a copy of it. Save this section, once you're done. Likewise, you can add other partners if any, by click on, add owner details. If you have certificate of incorporation, click on yes, and upload a copy of it, otherwise, click on no. Here, you have to upload a copy of memorandum of association, partnership agreement, or similar document, to show ownership information of the business. Next, is to enter the details of the manager, whose name is listed as manager in the trade license, or memorandum of association. Enter the name, in English and Arabic. Enter the passport details, and upload a copy of the passport. Enter the Emirates ID details, if the manager is a resident in the UAE. Upload a copy of the Emirates ID. Click on, save and continue, to go to next section. This section is to enter, the contact details of your business. Enter the business address, PO box number, telephone number, Emirate etc.
Click on Save and Continue, once you're done. Now, we are in the fourth section. Here, we have to record the banking details. Enter the IBAN number, bank name, account name etc. Once you enter the details, click on, Save and Continue. This is the fifth section, and here, we have to provide the senior management relationship details. If any of your directors, or partners, currently or in the past five years, involved in any business in UAE, then click on yes. And provide the details like, name, nationality, passport details, and Emirates ID details. If not, click on no. And click on save and continue, to go to next section. Now, we are in the sixth section. This is about the VAT registration, which is the most important section, in the VAT registration process. Select the primary business activity, from this drop-down list. Select any activity, which is closely related to the activities mentioned in the trade license. Once you select the primary activity, move on to the box, right next to it, and you can select other activities, or proposed activities if any. Otherwise, skip this field. These fields have to be filled, as per your registration criteria. Before move ahead further, let's understand some basic information, about the documents to be uploaded. If your value of turnover, or expenses subject to VAT, exceeds the threshold, in the last 12 months, then you have to upload. Declaration, printed on company letterhead, stamped, and signed by authorized signatory. Invoices, stamped and signed by authorized signatory. If you expect that, either your turnover or expenses subject to VAT, will be more than the threshold, in the next 30 days, then you have to upload. Declaration, printed on company letterhead, stamped and signed by authorized signatory. Purchase orders, stamped and signed by authorized signatory, of both the supplier, and the buyer, and should include payment terms, or delivery date within the next 30 days. Or, any other supporting financial documents, such as contracts, title deeds, tenancy contracts, etc. Have a look at the declaration form, and let's understand, how and what to be filled. This declaration should be printed on company letterhead. Here you can click, and select the date of declaration. Type the business name here. Here, you have to fill the yearly summary of sales, subject to VAT. Zero rated sales. Sales out of scope of tax. And then, expenses subject to VAT. These columns are to be filled, as per the company establishment date. Then type the month and year, when you start making taxable supplies. And type the month and year, when you reach the mandatory or voluntary threshold. From here onwards, you have to fill the monthly figures of sales, zero rated sales, sales out of scope of tax, and expenses subject to VAT. Once fill all necessary fields, print the same on the company letterhead, sign, and stamp. Scan the declaration and other documentary proofs, and upload. Now let's resume the registration process. Here, you have to type the turnover, for the last 12 months. For this demo purpose, we'll enter 190,000 Emirati dirhams, as our total turnover, for the past 12 months. And upload the declaration, and other documentary proofs. Type the expected turnover here. Type expenses subject to VAT, for the last 12 months. And then expected expenses, in the next 30 days. Click on yes, if you expect the VAT on your expenses, which exceeds the VAT on your taxable supplies. Otherwise click on no. If you expect to make exempt supplies, then click on yes, or else click on no. Enter import and export details here. If you intend to import, or export, click on yes or else click on no. Here you have to enter the GCC activities. If you are registered for VAT in any GCC member states, or import from, or export to GCC member states, then you have to provide the information. If not, skip this field. Next is for customs registration information. If you have a custom number, click on yes, 
and fill additional details like the Emirate in which you've customs registration, customs number, and upload a copy of customs number issued by the customs department and click on add customs registration. Otherwise, click on no. If you wish to apply for an exemption from that registration, then click yes. This option is only for those business that makes only zero rated supplies. Now you have to select the date on which the threshold exceeded or expected to be exceeded and select the date you would like to be registered. If you select a date prior to the standard effective date, then provide a reason below. Click on save and continue once you're done. Now we are in the declaration section. Here you have to provide the authorized signatory details who will be responsible for all the communications with FTA. The authorized signatory is normally the owner, manager, or anyone else who have the power of attorney to take legal decisions of the company. Provide here the basic information about the authorized signatory like the job title, the name in English and Arabic, nationality, passport details, and upload a copy of the same. Emirates ID details, if the authorized signatory is a resident in UAE, and upload a copy. And select the mobile country code, and type mobile number. Upload scanned copy of proof of authorization, like memorandum of association, power of attorney or similar documents. You can select preferred mode of communication, and language. Make sure to select all checkboxes before clicking save and review. Now we are in the last section of the VAT registration process. This section is for review the details of what you've provided. Check thoroughly if all details provided for each sections are exact. If all the information provided are correct, click on submit for approval. Once you submit the application for VAT registration, the status will show as pending. You can check your registered email for any further updates from FTA on application status. If the application status is showing, resubmit, you need to provide the additional detail as requested in that email by clicking on edit button and resubmit your application. If everything is in order as per the registration mandates, the application status will change to approved which means you're successfully registered for VAT. You can now download the TRN certificate by logging to your e-service account. This is the end of our today's video. This session was only a demonstration to understand each steps in the VAT registration process. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.